family friends at the other door. Welcome to Watch It, Paint It in this video. We're actually going to be taking a look. It is kind of like a preview because this is launching on Kickstarter. In fact, the time this video is up, it will have already launched on Kickstarter. But really, it's a review because this is a final production piece. So I'm going to start... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's start with just letting you guys all know that I got this free of charge. So I've not paid any for this. This is a review copy. So bear that in mind with everything that I say, but I try and be fairly honest. In fact, the reason you're getting this video so late to the party, you know, this wasn't ready at launch because I wanted to try this out, not for one or two paint jobs, for multiple weeks and really get a feel for it. So I'm trying to be as honest as I can in this review, but do bear in mind, it was free. It changes everything. So while I am talking about me getting this for free and being a baller YouTuber, let me cover the price point of this. Guys, this is going to be, it works on Kickstarter right now, $30, which is £23, which puts you about on price point with the Redgrass Games Light Edition. So you get the same amount of paper, sponges, and wet palettes, you get one. But um, this is about twice the size, so it's £2 more, but you get twice as much everything really you get twice as much paper twice as much sponge and twice as much wet palette as a whole so on price on about price point now it has more features than any of a wet palette that i've used and we'll talk about that as we move through the video in fact should, should, should we start talking about that now so the first thing to know is i have many 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 wet palettes guys i am not new to the wet palette business and if you watch the channel or not a lot you know that i don't particularly use them i live in england it's not that hot my paint doesn't dry and i paint incredibly quickly so we'll cover a few of the wet palettes as we go through the video and where it where this one has different features and maybe better things some are a little bit worse we'll we'll have a look at how i feel about it but you already know if you watch the channel i don't use a lot of wet palettes so it's it's, I'm not an expert. I'm not going to pretend, you know, I'm not going to baffle you with painting science or anything like that. I'm just going to cut to the chase and tell you about the features and whether they're good or bad or they, they're giving me a bonus. But ultimately, I'm not a wet palette guy. So I use it because my kids interrupt me all the time and I want to keep my paints a little bit moist. Or I use it when I'm batch painting and I've got a lot of paint out and I want to keep it. That sort of thing. They're the two things. I don't do as much wet blending as I should. So I'm not interested in saturation levels and stuff like that. I just want to, will it keep my paint wet? if my kids disturb me and will it keep it wet if I'm painting for multiple hours on the same batched miniatures. So let's cover a couple of features. One feature I think is that guys this is from Game Envy. They already make innovative modeling miniature products and uh, they're a big player in the industry I think. Guys if you've not heard of them, seen them before, they make the hobby holder which you probably see me use in sort of every video on the channel. You won't see the grip that often because it gets in the way of the camera but it's ultimately how I paint off camera as well. I've always got this grip on. I can lean it and manipulate the model much better than I can when I'm just holding it and the paint doesn't keep coming off with my hands dirty hands touching the top of the miniature so they make things like that they have the wash wizard which I accidentally well I say accidentally I once didn't use this because I could not be bothered to go and fetch it and then I knocked over my Nolan oil and I've never not used this since so this is to keep my contrast paints in and it stops them getting knocked over that sort of thing so they've got a whole bunch of products they already exist this is a product as you can see this is not a prototype guys this already exists the kickstart is just a means to market as far as as I can tell. So this is already there. They already exist. You are going to get this, hopefully, I mean, touch wood, you know what the world's like at the moment. It's a little bit crazy, but you should be getting this this year, which does set it up for a Christmas present for yourself or for your loved ones or anybody else that you might want to buy a sort of wet palette for. So that, that's all bonuses from the company and the time scale you're going to get it. Now, let's move on to some of the features. From the outside, you can see it's a little bit unusual and a little bit similar to, which one was it? A bit, a bit like the Army Painters one, which had a little bit, if guys, hopefully you've seen me review, talk about these already, a little bit of storage space on the top of the box which I thought was a fantastic addition didn't keep particularly too much in 
but it did keep some in. Let's bust open this, da -da 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 -da, and you can see there's some storage space. So this is a big hit for me. I keep a couple of brushes in, some tools, stuff like that. And on top of that, it comes with a dry palette. You can see I haven't used this, but I will do. This is sort of for washers. That's really good to keep your washers. You don't want washers on your wet palette getting wetter and wetter and wetter and harder to use. You've got this for mixing pieces. And then I don't know what this is for, some extra mi mixing, but you can see it's got a brush holder too so you can keep your brushes on there while you're using them or even more if you've got loads of brushes you can lean them against it keeping the tip off the table but you can have sort of eight brushes in use you can also just remove this if it's in the way and then you're going to increase your storage space a further bonus with this is it's actually this little bit here is for storing the artwork you can prop this up while you're painting get the lid off get it out of the way you can hold up some reference art if you've got some if you've not got reference art or it's digital reference art you can just slap your phone in there or tablet it'll hold the tablet up so you can be looking at what you're copying what well, copying using for reference i should say while you're painting up your miniature so a few bonus features before we've even opened the box so let's shut all this back up and move on to the biggest innovative feature the thing that's currently as far as i'm gonna know sets it aside from everything else and that is the sort of locking mechanism guys this does not just push shut it does not just hold roughly shut it locks into position these are locks all the way around the outside in fact it's quite hard uh, to get them on and off because it's so so tight so with that this is super airtight there's no flimsy it might come off might not in fact normally and this is a good example with the Red Grass Games one. This is also airtight. This is phenomenal, by the way. I've not used this in months, maybe six months, and I would not be surprised it's airtight, but the, if the paints are still wet on the inside. But, guys, this is normally held on with a strap like the Army Painter one is. Where's the strap? I don't freaking know. I lost it ages ago. The strap's crazy, which means, yes, this is still airtight, but this could just get knocked off, you know. do not take much look at that. That was not much work. Look at that, still wet though. I mean, that's, this is why you, you use wet palettes, right? The, the, the sponge is still damp. It's been months, six months. Nice, nice. Anyway, the point is this one locks shut and that is a big step for me personally. Those straps, I've lost my Red Grass Games one. Still got my Army Painter one, which it desperately needs. There is no airtight seal on the Army Painter one, which is another bonus on top of this one. So I do need the strap for the Army Painter. Don't necessarily need it for Red Grass Games, but freaking hell, that's annoying. Before we look inside at the actual paints, we can talk about the actual point of this. We can just mention it's got a vent up here for what I think is a couple of reasons. And I don't I don't, I don't know. Um, as I said, I'm not a, a paint scientist, but this does increase airflow if you need to have some ventilation in there, which is going to reduce the mold buildup, you know, like same in your house, you need to keep a little bit of ventilation, keep the mold and mildew at bay, that sort of thing. I collect spores, molds and fungus. You can also just let out some of the moisture if it's too wet in there and you need to remove some. And then the other thing is, I think it's easier to seal with it open because it, oh, that was much easier, reduces the pressure as you're clamping it and pressing it down. And then you can seal it once it's closed and just by popping that back, well, he says that, yeah, just by popping that back in there, but that's taken care of. So a little, I've not seen this before, a little vent. That's quite, as I said, innovative. There's quite a few special things that I've not seen with this before. Let's get these out of the way because they're taking up some space. Oh, you might get, guys, you might get a sticker as well. I get this with quite a few of my orders from, from Game Envy. Uh, if you like stickers, it's quite cool. Pro in fact, probably slap, in fact, let's do it right now, boys. Let's slap this into position because it's critical. Boom, sorted. Right, so you might get a sticker and then you're gonna get 50 hydration sheets, which you use and they're the sort of things you throw away and you're gonna get two, uh, what are they call sponges. Now these are not mold resistant or anything like that. So it will, will probably come in handy that you've got two. We'll check for mold in a minute. I've been using this for a while. So we'll see how we get on, but that's what you're gonna get. The average Kickstarter, obviously you can add more and that sort of stuff. So you're gonna get a wet palette, 50 sheets and two sponges. So let's have a look on the inside. Now I mentioned I've been using this for a while because I think it's important guys. You know, I couldn't just bust this out. I've been using it for about two or three weeks now, painted up a handful of miniatures. In fact, we should grab one so you guys can see. Let's do that while I'm talking about it and the sort of finish you can get on your miniatures using a wet palette. So this is a Red Skull from Marvel United and I was going for very, very, very subtle 
flat highlights. I don't want it to pop out like I would normally do when I dry paint, especially that's a reason I don't use wet palettes as much as others because I want the miniatures to be poppy. This one, however, I want it to be smooth. I don't even know how well that comes across on the screen, but in person, this is fantastic. He's got very, very subtle highlights and blended slightly into the rest of him. But I did all of that using a wet palette. Uh, I've got nothing else nearby. I'm so unprofessional. I would love to show you some more, but I've worked on some more. So let's talk about what the important bit is, the actual wet palette inside. So as I mentioned, it's not a mold resistant sponge. So that is relevant, I think. We'll have a look under this in a minute for, for actual mold. Let's grab a paintbrush. I haven't got a good one nearby, but I've got our paintbrush as well. This was the very first paint I put on it a couple of weeks ago. Let's go for two weeks. I think this, let's call this two weeks. And you can see this is mostly done. And that is a metallic paint, which I personally think do not work on wet palettes. So that didn't last at all well. And then about a week ago, so the, this is a week old now, look at this, still usable, St heavily, heavily, heavily watered down. Can you see how runny that is? But it looks good. I would still use this. This is going to be great for very subtle highlights, exactly why I was using this to start painting up Marvel United. These are all about a week old and every single one of them looks fairly usable to me. Very watered down if you're into wet blending and the more advanced techniques, these are the sort of useful things. So you're going to get maybe a week out of it, but guys, if you care about that sort of thing, I'm just going to spread this around and you can see for yourself it, how you would use this because it probably mean more to the people who are on the advanced levels than myself but the fact it's still wet and it's still going to give some color you know that's going to work in some cases for me now for my personal use case this is me painting up uh, what's his name the hulk and i put this on yesterday i didn't actually use any i put it on and i got interrupted which is the exact reason when i use a wet palette because people come and disturb me so you can see these colors are watered down so, so this is uh, 20 hours old, something like that. And you can see it's still very, 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 very usable. In fact, whoa, look at that. That's almost perfect for me. So I've not had to, and that's a bonus of the wet palettes. I'm not having to micromanage the amount of thinning of the paint. It, to me personally, I slap some paint in and after about 10 minutes, it's at the level I want my paints to be watered down. Uh, let's just check, purple's always a good one. This needs mixing, so I've not found a wet palette. Oh, you can see here that the paint still separates. So I've not found a wet palette that doesn't need a little mix, but once again, that's a bit more washing than I want. So it's gonna have some different mileage based on, oh, it's not too bad though, is it, actually? Let's be honest. So you're gonna get different mileages on the colors, aren't we? That's not bad, and the green looks fantastic. Yeah, oh, ho, 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 ho. this is great. So this is more of my personal use case where I'm interrupted and I wanna use the paint within a day or two. So that's fantastic. A week is usable, but to be honest, because I don't wanna build up many, many layers, this is, this is gone for me, but it's very usable if you're into wet blending or if you're just gonna build up loads and loads of layers and you're that kind of painter. And then metallic paints, this one died. This is an army painter metallic paint. This was the same time though. So this is brown, isn't it? Blah. No, it's brown and green. I mean, it's still a, it's still wet, <laughs> but I don't, I, oh, I still, I mean, I've mixed in green, so I've ruined that a bit, but it's still, it's still, a, it's still brown. It's, that's just, you know, it works well on my hand, but I don't think I would use that. Although saying that, guys, I don't need to review this. You can see You've got two weeks metallic, didn't 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 keep, and then you've got two weeks some normal paints, and they're still there. You saw it was heavily watered down and need mixing. A week, heavily, heavily watered down, but it's still paint, it's still usable. And then within 24 hours sort of thing, this is very, very perfect for me, very, very usable. So that's what we're talking about with the paint. Hopefully that helps. Judge for yourselves. If you use wet palettes before, you can see how this works and how we're compared to other wet palettes you've used. If I compare it to wet palettes I've used, it's as good, if not better, than anything I've used. And certainly better than ones that I've made myself or cheapy arts and crafts one, which I used for a while. And look, it's all moldy, you can see the mold. It went moldy after a few days and it's like, well, that's not gonna cut it for me, so. So let's just talk a bit about the paper. And this, from what I can tell, is thicker than any of the other wet palette paper I've ever used and that might, do something, I don't know, but it's certainly affecting the properties of the paint in a slightly different way. So it's really high quality paper. And then the sponge underneath, let's have a look. Let's get this out of the way now. 
Let's check for some mold. I think we are good. There's a little bit, this looks like where the metallic paint was though, and you can see it's done something to the paper as well. Now I've taken that off. Some of the papers absorbed and looked black. Some of this metallic paint, which by the way is run because, it, well, I picked it up like this. You can see the paints are running everywhere. These are not transportable. <laughs> Just because it's airtight and seals, it's still going to tip your paint everywhere if you tip it to the side. So guys, that, that's basically it. Hopefully I've covered enough. I'm, I'm going to put this out there. This is definitely now my new favourite wet palette. It's got just, it's just this new innovative, I'm going to keep saying innovative, aren't I? Just these new features, just take it to the next step. You know what it's missing though? And I noticed this when I was looking to show you all the paper you get with it, is there is no way, nowhere to store these the papers, the extra sponges, it just needs a bit underneath to slot these in. And I have the same problem with my other wet palettes. Redgrass Games one was my favourite before, so if you're interested in this one and you just want to step up, I think this is the next level. But yeah, while I was looking for the paper for this, I, I found my Redgrass Games one on top of my hard drives. I've, I'm sure that's where most of you keep the freaking things. But yeah, just misplaced the paper, and I, I honestly couldn't tell you where any of the papers are for any of my wet palettes. So I think that's a feature they're all missing. But this one, mmm clickety click nice and tight nice and sealed don't have to pump it shut like i do with the red grass games to get that lock in tight airtight sealy thing so yeah i'm impressed with this guys i would recommend it as this will be my go-to wet palette once again i don't use them that often so wet palettes are a bit hit and miss with me but it's nice to have a go-to favorite i will bust this out when i need it going forwards I, as I mentioned, there will be a link in the description below, guys, so you can go check this out yourself, see what deals you're getting on the Kickstarter at the moment. Thank you all ever so much for watching. Let me know below if you're a wet palette fan or like myself, you just don't use them that often. And which, if you are a wet palette fan, is your favorite wet palette? Thank you all ever so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. some additional features so the first one is does it say it does not but there's some oh, oh, oh <laughs> forgot about this do, 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 do. don't mind that that is kit the creator of game envy i might have been mocking him at some point in the past i sure do love my swims it's really exciting and it's a great way to stay in shape and i i i think that i think that's important i don't know why but it certainly feels good for balancing artwork or your mobile devices where's my tablet where is everything but you can basically use this this was ill prepared let me start again fuck it fuck it